ਸਤਿਗੁਰਾਂ ਦੀ ਸਾਜੀ ਨਿਵਾਜੀ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀਓ ਪਿਆਰ ਨਾਲ ਸਤਿਗੁਰਾਂ ਦੀ ਬਖਸ਼ੀ ਹੋਈ ਫਤਿਹ ਦੀ ਸਾਂਝ ਪਾਉਣੀ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਟੁਡੇਸ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਇਜ਼ ਬਲੈਸਿੰਗ ਫਰਮ ਸਚਖੰਡ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਹਮੰਦਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਕੰਪੋਜੀਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਧੰਨ ਧੰਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਤੇਗ ਬਹਾਦਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ 9th ਸਤਗੁਰੂ 9th ਐਮਬੋਡੀਮੈਂਟ ਆਫ ਧੰਨ ਧੰਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਗੁਰੂ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਹੈਸ ਕੰਪੋਜ਼ ਟੁਡੇਸ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਇਨ ਰਾਗ ਸੋਰਟ ਵਿਚ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟਸ ਦੀ ਚੀਅਰਫੁਲ ਮੂਡ ਰਿਲੈਕਸੇਸ ਦੀ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਇਟ ਬਿਕਮਸ ਈਜ਼ੀਅਰ for the meaning of the shabad to home in into our minds hukumnama is placed in tan tan shri guru granth sahib ji maharaj on ang 632 tan tan guru tegh bahadur sahib maharaj begins the hukumnama with precious advice inspiration that if you want peace in your life if you want to realize your creator then you need to follow these instructions man re prab ki sharan vicharo guru maharaj is addressing his own mind oh my mind think of taking sanctuary of the lord just think you had your father you had your grandfather grandmother they passed away one day you are going to leave as well while you are still alive people cheat with you they leave you in the middle dara meet poot sanbandhi sagre dhan seo lagge dara means wife meet means friends sanbandhi is relatives and poot is your children they are all clinging on to you they talk to you because you have wealth jab hi nirtan dekhyo nar ko sang chhad sab paage when you will not have the wealth you will not have the authority you are not leader anymore people won't even ask you tere putr tera parivar tere naal randa tenu bulanda pyar de naal kyon tere kol dhan hai jado tera dhan muk gaya te kise ne nahi puchna so oh my mind take the sanctuary of the lord parmeshwar de dwar di shabad di sharan la la mere mana man re prab ki sharan vicharo that almighty lord who is eternal even you when you are near and dear they will pass away you will have only sanctuary of one lord there is amazing example i was talking to one of the singhs who comes to the gurdwara he is ill he is suffering i asked him you must have children because you are always talking about that you are alone you have no one to help you and he said gurmukh pyareya i have five sons and two daughters the mistake i made in my life was i divided the inheritance two years ago and since that time all my sons who used to visit me every day they had turn and visit me help me they all stopped coming people are selfish but sa sang ji there is a clue although we need our family we need to support each other there is a clue always rely on wahguru 
you know, a lot of time we think when we get old, our children will support us. That's a mistake, biggest mistake. Never think like that. Because our mind is so strong, if we think negative, negativity will flow in our lives. If we think that one of my son is a doctor and I would need help when I get older, you will need help because you have been thinking that way. Satsangha ji, asi soch deya na kai wari. Pai saadhe chaar niyane hai. Jadho bujuru hak ho jange, te saadhi madad karnge, kadhi bhi edha na sochya karo. Jadho tu si socho gaye te o gal ho jegi. Hameshaan parmeshar te prosa rakho. Pai mere malka, minu kise de bhi loor nahi. Minu tu dhani bina de. Pai mein saaryaan di madad karan. Minu kise di madad di loor na pae. गल समझ आ गई होनी है क्योंकि जो असी नैगेटिव सोचते हाँ ढेंदी कला रेंगे हाँ तो ढेंदी कला जीवन के वर्तती है सो वी मस्ट थिंक थिंक पॉजिटिव दैट ऑल दो आई हैव फैमिली आई हैव चिल्ड्रन बट वाहेगुरु हैल्प मी गि मी योर ब्लैसिंग आई नैवर हैव टू डिपेंड ऑन माई फैमिली I have your sanctuary. I have your support. This is positive thinking, and positivity will come in your life. When you think negative, negative thoughts will run into your life. Negative things will manifest in your life. So Guru Maharaj is giving us precious advice. Man re prab ki sharan bicharo, oh my mind. contemplate think about taking the sanctuary of almighty god jah simrat gan ka si udhri ta ko jas ur taro gan ka is prostitute there was a prostitute she was liberated as well by meditating on god's name so guru maharaj is giving us the testimonies prosa if you are doing part if you are doing good deeds you expect automatically good things to happen in your life if good things do not happen in your life you will be disappointed je tusi paath karde ha bani padde ha seva karde ha ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਮਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਕ ਇੱਛਾ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਆ ਕਿ ਸਾਡੇ ਜੀਵਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੁੱਖ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਜੇ ਸੁੱਖ ਨਾ ਹੋਏ ਕਈ ਵਾਰੀ ਸਾਡਾ ਹੌਸਲਾ ਢਹਿ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਮਾਲਕਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨਾਮ ਜਪਿਆ ਤੇ ਦੇਖੋ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਦੁੱਖ ਨੇ ਜੀਵਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੋ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਜੀਵਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਕ ਆਸ਼ਾ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਆ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਦਾ ਨਾਮ ਜਪਿਆ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਮੇਰੇ ਜੀਵਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੁੱਖ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਪਰ ਜਦੋਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦਾ कई बार पाठ करना भी छड़ देंगे असं पर गुरु महाराज इतने भरोसा देंगे हैं एक गणका से जो जी अपने शरीर में वेचती सी जो उन्हें वाहेगुरु से भरोसा किया नाम जपया वह भी तर गई मनुखा तू की सोचना क्यों नहीं उस वाहेगुरु से भरोसा रखता सो सो मैनी टाइम्स वी आर डिसपॉइंटेड दैट आवर लाइफ इज स्टिल मिजरे there so much pain so much difficulties so many difficulties in our lives despite of doing all good deeds i'm doing charity work i'm doing meditation i'm listening to the kirtan listening to the katha why so much misery so sometimes people are disheartened but guru maharaj is giving us the testimony if there is misery in your life do not blame others je tere jeevan de vich dukh hai na dujiyan nu dosh na dei dosh karma apne a dadda dosh na dei kisa dosh karma apne a jo main kiya so main paya dosh na dije avarjana 
don't blame others from for what you are going through just leave it to vaheguru you have faith in vaheguru maybe you are doing charity work and taking credit for that charity work daan karke tu humme karna ho sakda ta karke tenu dukh because of that ego you are taking pride in your charity work in your meditation in your kirtan and that's why you are suffering you need to come to guru sanctuary you need to learn from your guru carry on doing good deeds but remain desireless don't wish for any material and god will give you so much that you won't need anything you will feel content you will feel like an emperor you will feel like a queen that's something this is the counseling you are getting today from tantan guru granth sahib ji maharaj jaan ka sab kich ta ka hoye nanak ta ko bighan na koi when you own vaheguru and you are owned by vaheguru whatever belongs to vaheguru belongs to you jaan ka sab kich ta ka hoye is amazing so guru maharaj is revealing that prostitute who used to do evil deeds sell her body one day a saint came to her and said my daughter why you are doing this this is very very sinful and she replied i have no other qualification nothing else to earn the living that saint gave this prostitute a parrot and parrot was trained to say ram 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 saint advised ganka which is prostitute to feed the parrot three times a day and repeat what he is saying and she used to repeat ram 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 and one day it so happened she put her hand in the cage unfortunately parrot had been killed by a snake when she put her hand in she was saying ram 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 and her heart was full of devotion for the almighty god and she was bitten by the snake and she died in love for the god and she was liberated so guru maharaj is giving us the inspiration oh my mind you can be liberated as well if a sinful prostitute can be liberated you have a chance maharaj kende je ganka o ram ram kendi hoyi parmatma di pyari ho gayi तू भी राम राम कही जा राम का भाव परमेशर सारे रमया हो सारे परमेश सारे परमेशर देख तेरी भी मुक्ति हो जाएगी इफ यू सी गॉड इन एवरी वन यू विल बी लिबरेटिड राम मीनस ऑल प्रवेडिंग रमया हो प्रॉब्लम इज वी पिक पिक ऑन अवर ओन ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स वी शो डिसरिस्पैक्ट टू अवर ओन parents we show disrespects to the gurmukh pyare around us if we don't like their thinking if someone is not thinking at the same level as you you start picking on that person you can't see god in them god is acting in everyone we have to be soldiers only in self defense principle is fear not frighten not don't be afraid of anyone and don't scare anyone pai kahu ko det na na pai manat aan koh nanak sun re mana gyani taai bakhan then you are truly spiritual wise person if you don't force anyone for anything and you are not under pressure you are not frightened of anyone
then you are ready to meet Vahegu. Sah Sangha Ji, I'll give you an example which may apply to you as well. I used to force my own sons to do Jabji Sabbani in the morning and Panjbani at the part in the morning. And obviously, you have to push your children to some extent. But one day I saw tears coming out of my son's eyes because he didn't want to do it. That gave me some wisdom that I cannot force this child who is unwilling. One day he will revolt. So I left him on his own accord. Son, that's your clock, that's the alarm. You wake up at your own will. I'm not going to wake you up anymore. And today, Sat Sangaji, they do Jabji Sabbani, they do Simran when they want to. May Vaheguru bless them. But I do not want to take sin like Aurangzeb used to force people to convert into Islam. That is sinful. Guru Tegh Bhattasa Maharaj said to Aurangzeb, you cannot force anyone into Islam or to change their faith because you will be accountable to Almighty God, Allah, for committing that sinful act of forcing people or tempting people into your faith. But God has no faith. God respects those people who are tolerant, who love everyone, who are indiscriminate. Jin prem ki ho tin hi prapayo. Those who are compassionate. Now Guru Maharaj give another example. Atal payo tru jaka simran ar nirpa pad paya. There was a little child born to a son, born to a, beg your pardon, born to an emperor. His name was Utanapada. But as you know, when people have power and authority, they abuse their authority. Kings end up marrying a lot of women. So king married another woman. His stepmother pulled through out of Utanpad, the emperor's lap, that you are not my son, get out of here. Thru was very upset. He went back to his mother and mother was very wise. He asked his mother, mother, aren't you queen? She said, I was queen, but I have been rejected. Am I not emperor's son? She replied, yes, you are. But why I haven't had the honor of sitting with the emperor on the throne? And she replied, it's lack of pagati. Then Pai Gurdas Ji writes in the Vara, Kis Uddham Te Raj Mila, Shatru Te Sab Homan Meeta. Oh my mother, what should I do so I can be the king? How my enemies, like my stepmother, can become my friend? And mother replied, Only ways have faith in God and meditate. Thru left the home and he met Narad on the way. Narad was a very spiritual person. And Narad gave him the instructions how to meditate on God. Instructions were simple. Have faith in God. Meditate as if God is with you. That's meditation. Be thankful to God what God has given you. To cut the story short, Thru became the emperor. His stepmother honored him. His father honored him. So what does it tell us? When we become dedicated to Vaheguru, 
all the 8.4 million species will respect you, honor you. जहाँ तू मेरा वल है ताँ क्या मोचंदा तू द सब किच मैंनू सोमपे आ जहाँ तेरा बंदा लक्ष्मी तोड़ना आवई खाए खर्च रहन्दा लक्ष चुरासी मेदनी सब सेव करन्दा अमेजिंग लक्ष चुरासी 8.4 मिलियन लिविंग बीइंग्स विल सर्व यू व्हेन गॉड इज ऑन योर साइड सो गुरु महाराज gives us the confidence so we can have faith in Vaheguru because Vaheguru is formless. Vaheguru is not the same. Vaheguru is the same. Vaheguru is the same. Vaheguru is the same. The Maharaj Prasad Vahe Jandha said that the true Jada is the same. The Matrai Maan is the same. The God 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 is the same. When the mother opened her mind, Why did I have such a nirvana? उतान पद जेड़ा मेरा पेओ है राजा मैं उधर पुत्र नहीं ते तू उधी रानी नहीं ते माँ बड़ी सियानी सी जवाब देता पुत्र है मैं रानी हाँ पर मैं पगती नहीं की थी नाम नहीं जपिया अपने पैड़े कर्मा करके पगती हीन को होन करके आज मिनु इना निरादर पुगतना पैरे हैं फिर माँ मैं की करूँ किस उद्दम ते राज मिले शत्रु ते सब होन मीता मेरी मित्रई माँ मेनु किदा प्यार करे किदा मेनु राज मिले ते फिर सास संगजी उन्हें क्या नाम जप ते नारद ने फिर त्रु बालक नू नाम जपाया ते त्रु राजा बने हैं मित्रई माँ ने भी उन्हें फिर बहुत प्यार की था पाव जदों ऐसी परमेश्वर दे नाल प्यार प ते सारी दुनिया चुरासी लाख मेदनी साढे नाल प्यार कर दिया लाख चुरासी मेदनी सब सेव करने दा गुरु तेग बादर साम महाराज अग्गे फिर गलां कर दे साढे नाल उपदेश दें देने दो कहरता ए बिद्ध को स्वामी ते कहे बिसायो सो why you have forgotten that Almighty God who is going to take all your misery away? Haven't you learned? So I've given you a few examples. If that is not enough, I'm going to give you another example. Amazing example. Jab hi sharan gahe kirpaned gaj garhate chuta. Gaj means elephant. Graha means crocodile. Now this is an amazing story. There's a lot of learning in that. There was a spiritual person, a Rishi. Spiritual person was called Rishi. He had a disciple, and disciple used to take mick, used to make fun of his guru. Apne guru da majak udanda unda siya, uda chela. Kisi thi ninda ni karni chahiye thi. Now, there are a lot of people I have come across who used to make fun of their teachers. And as a result, they could never get a degree. Today, they are looking for odd jobs, building jobs, this job, carpenter job. It's not bad, but still, if you show disrespect to anyone, you won't receive honor. So this person who used to disrespect his own teacher, his own guru, guru said, you are very proud big headed like elephant then that person realized oh my god whatever my guru says it will become true so he went went to guru and said please forgive me i don't want to become elephant sasanga ji ne apni guru nu nindya kiti si guru di te guru ne kiya tera sir bada vadda haathi varga oh jada chela si oda mar ke haathi ban gaya si फिर एनु कट मगर मार्च ने फाड़ लिया सी ते दैन ही सेड टू गुरु प्लीज फॉरगिव मी मिनु माफ कर दे केंद्र एंड गुरु सेड गॉड विल फॉरगिव यू इन द लाइफ ऑफ एलिफेंट 
ਹਾਥੀ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਤਾਂ ਵੀ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਬਖਸ਼ ਲੇਗਾ ਪਰ ਤੂੰ ਹਾਥੀ ਬਣੇਗਾ ਸੋ ਇਟ ਸੋ ਹੈਪਨਡ ਐਲੀਫੈਂਟ ਵਾਸ ਇਨ ਦੀ ਰਿਵਰ ਐਂਡ ਕ੍ਰੋਕੋਡਾਈਲ ਗ੍ਰੈਬ ਦਮ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਕੈਨ ਸੇਵ ਸਟੋਨਸ ਰੌਕਸ ਐਨੀਮਲਸ ਐਨੀਵਨ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਕੈਨ ਟੇਕ ਐਨੀਵਨ ਆਊਟ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਡੈਥ ਐਂਡ ਬਰਥ ਸਾਈਕਲ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਪਸ਼ੂ ਪ੍ਰੇਦ ਮੁਗਤ ਕੋ ਤਾਰੇ ਪਸ਼ੂਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਤਾਰ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਪੱਥਰਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਤਾਰ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਸੋ ਜਦੋਂ ਇਹਨੇ ਹਾਥੀ ਨੇ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਕੀਤੀ ਤੇ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਨੇ ਬਚਾ ਲਿਆ when elephant prayed to almighty god wahguru liberated him because god is capable of liberating elephants animals birds stones rocks so guru maharaj is giving us assurance jab hi sharan gahi kripa ne the gaj graha te chhuta when almighty god became merciful even the elephant the gaj was liberated from the graha which is crocodile mehma naam kahan lo barno ram kahat bandan te chuta kende main oh vai gur di mehma kidan kara haathi ne jado ram keya te oh vi chhut gaya bhai tu vi chhut jayega if elephant elephant can be liberated if you accept and acknowledge that god is in everyone you treat everyone with love you will be liberated je saryan de vich tu rabb dekhega teri vi mukti ho jayegi je tu tu main main de vich paya teri mukti kadi nahi honi agge maharaj farmande ne aja mal papi jag jaane nimakh mahe nistara nanak kahat chet chinta man tain bhi utre para like a sinner aja mal he was liberated as well when on the death bed he remembered narayan almighty god all his life he committed sins but in the end he realized no one can no one else can help him besides almighty god his son was named narayan by a saint he was calling him but son didn't turn up at the death bed then he relied on vaheguru and he was liberated vaiguru is chintaman jewel of that precious jewel who takes the chinta away anxiety away remember that vaiguru all your anxieties will be taken away vaiguru chintaman hai chinta di mani hai mara kende chintaman oh mani hai jidi tu bhakti karega na teriyan chintaan sariyan muk janiyan so eh maharaj da upadesh hai tu hi is bhav sagar to paar ho jayega ਸੋ ਗੁਰੂ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਕਰਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਦਾ ਉਪਦੇਸ਼ ਹਿਰਦਿਆਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਵਸੇ ਪਿਆਰ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਭੁੱਲਾ ਨਾ ਚਤਾਰਦੇ ਹੋਏ ਫਤਿਹ ਦੀ ਸਾਂਝ ਪਾਣੀ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰ